tax day, so let's talk taxes. Shopping with smaller uh, retailers online could now cost you more, and that's all due to the case being heard today by the Supreme Court. Take a look. South Dakota has appealed to the Supreme Court to try to get basically internet-based companies to collect sales tax on all of their sales shipped to South Dakota. You've noticed when shopping online that most large online sellers like Amazon pay local sales tax, but smaller online sellers don't have to based on how much they sell. Of course, that varies by state laws. That could all change depending on the high court's ruling. Sales tax expert Chanel Davis says a ruling for South Dakota will change how small businesses and individuals sell things online. They're going to be treated like any other brick and mortar store that's based in your town. Some say such a ruling would be bad news for small businesses and individual sellers that would have to keep track of every local community's sales tax in the country. That's 12,000 tax codes. The internet gives you access to the entire world. Joey Merlin Obviously. runs Thrifty, which resells thrift store items online. And while he doesn't like the idea of paying a sales tax, he understands it. Brick and mortar stores have to have that sales tax. So why wouldn't an online store have to have that? The world is changing and I think it's, a, you're gonna have to face legislation that's gonna change along with it. And the Supreme Court will be hearing the case today and a decision is expected by late June.